In this tutorial, we are going to learn about how to calculate cut and fill volumes using Civil 3D in four simple steps. Well, the first step involves creating points and two point groups from imported survey data file that is in text format. Secondly, we will create two surfaces from the two point groups that we have created in step one. Then thirdly, we will create a comparative uh, thin volume surface which we will analyze in the fourth step to generate and calculate cut and fill volumes and generate. So first we will start by creating point. Go to the points tab and go to import, export points, import points. This will take you to a dialog box whereby you will click on the plus sign and go straight to your drive where you have stored your text file i will have already created two i will go with the ogls text file and click open then when you see a green tick this shows that it's acceptable format to use in civil 3d but if it is a red cross then it is not going to work specify the point file format by selecting the PENZD space delimited for the file that I have imported. This basically is an acronym for point, easting, northing, Z is the elevation and D is the description. Add the points to a point group and uh, since we don't have any point group existing we will create a new point group and call this O G L for original ground levels. Click OK. Then click OK and generate the points according to the speed of your computer. Click Zoom Extends and you will see the points on your screen. I will increase the scale so as to make the points more visible. And you can see these are the points that have been created including some that denotes the trees in that area. The next step will be to create a surface from these points that we have created. So you go on the tool space uh, tab and right click on the surfaces, create surface. And in the create surface dialog box, you choose the type as the TIN surface. TIN is triangular irregular network surface. Retain the surface layer as C topo and name your surface. I will name my surface as OGL, original ground level surface. And click OK. I will maintain the style as contours as well as the render material. Click OK. And now we have our surface. When you go to the surfaces and open, you will see the OGL surface has been created. Open it again the masks go to definition open again then straight down to the point groups right click and add in the point groups dialog box select the OGL point group which we created apply and click OK then our surface will be created this surface has contours I will label the contours so that we see how our surface uh, looks like. So from these contours we can clearly see that our surface slopes from left to right and uh, reducing from 1960 to 1958, 1956 all the way to the lowest level which is around 1950. This shows about a 10 or 12 meter drop in height. We will repeat the same process to create a second surface which we will call an excavated ground surface. But first we need to create the points for this surface using the, the, the previous process of importing uh, uh, files. And I will go and import, import my surface points as excavated ground surface click open and then specify the file format and add my points to a point group 
create the point group and call it excavated ground levels and click OK. Then our points will be generated. This warning dialog box is fine because some of our points are overlaid on the first points. So we just click OK. At this point, we cannot identify them clearly because they have been overlaid like this. But when we create our surface, which we, we will call uh, the excavated ground surface, create surface, name it excavated ground level surface, and click OK. Then right click, sorry, open down the AGL surface, open the definition, then on the point groups, right click and add the EGL point groups point group and apply and click OK. Now we have our excavated ground level surface. So in the next tutorial, I will show you the next two steps out of the four that will illustrate how to create a third teen volume surface, which we will analyze in the fourth and final step to generate a cut and fill report. Thank you.